Hello and welcome back to another 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. It's been quite some time since I did a beer review, so I thought I'd better do another one. I've had some beers in the stash for quite some time. I've just worked my way back up to doing some more beers. So this one is from Italy. First brewed in 2011, 7%. And it is uh, Brewfist Spaceman. Uh, West Coast IPA, it says. Uh, loving the design. I picked this up in a bottle shop in Bologna, in Italy, um, for like two euros or something. It was very cheap. So uh, it's all in English. That's amazing. It's got the main language in here is, is English. It's obviously made for export. It says more beer, more people. Uh, is the is the kind of motto there, and there is some sort of spaceman holding an orange flag. I don't really know what that means, but there we go. There he is. There's that spaceman from Brewfest. Uh, so let's crack this open and I'll read you the tasting notes. Ooh, bit of trouble there. I really like the logo. Uh, the bottle cap looks really nice, so I might keep that one. Almost certainly not the bottle conditions. I can enjoy all of it, which is good, because I'm really in the mood. So, tasting notes. Book of dreams here. A very slightly hazy beer with mid-copper colour. Yes. Citra, I wouldn't call it a mid-copper. It's quite light, actually. I think it might have changed the recipe ever so, ever so slightly. Uh, but it's definitely exactly the same beer. Citra, hops dominate the nose with aromas of juicy orange and mango balanced by herbal Columbus and Simcoe. Mm. Oh, that smells really nice. Really floral, almost a little bit of pine. The palate bursts with more pithy orange for a long finish that unfurls a pleasantly persistent bitterness. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying this. There's a great story about it. I'm going to read that very, very shortly. So let's so we have a look at it. It is a bit, a little bit hazy. Not, only, only a slight haze for it. It's not murky. Uh, really nice head. Good, solid kind of kind of head there. It's sort of billy, a bit cloud-like. Um... It's fizzing away, it smells absolutely cool. It smells very much of the citra and uh, regular listeners of this, uh, viewers of this uh, channel will know that I really love the citra hop. So I've got high hopes for this. So let's go for the taste. Cheers. Oh, it's lovely. It's not, it doesn't taste at 7% at all. Uh, tastes more like four and a half, five maybe. It's not sweet, brilliant. It's floral. I love that. That's how I like a beer. I like a floral hot hotness to it. Um, yeah, it's got so much citra, which I'm a big fan of, and, and I can taste the Simcoe as well. Columbus is not a hop I'm familiar enough with. Um, so let's have a read about this. It says between two thousand five and twenty ten, Italian craft beer underwent rapid expansion. Um, there had been no previous craft beer culture to speak of. Uh, it says this is from Cadonia in Lombardy. He first brewed in their plant in 2010, Brewfist, and then inspired by UK and US beer cultures, and that makes a lot of sense. You look at this bottle, it's just so very much of that sort of, that ilk. Um, it says, with great beer... In bars as part of everyday life in the US and UK, as opposed to, as the co-owner Pietro Di Pilato puts it, the restaurant craziness we have seen in Italy in the last decade. Now, the restaurants in Italy, especially in Bologna, were amazing. So, you know, I think you can have both. Uh, more beer, more people is a statement of intent. They didn't want to be a microbrewery. They wanted to be the big guy. Now, I like that. That's a good... That's being very, very honest there, people. They're, they're not trying to be this craft, tiny hipster brewery. They're both saying, we want to rule. And that's I've got absolute respect for that. Um, it's The beer is based on a simple blend of Pilsner, Vienna and aromatic malts with the hops taken centre stage. As one might expect of the style, there are late hop additions. Simcoe, Citra and Columbus to finish with more Simcoe and Citra added during cold conditioning. Okay, that's why I'm getting so much Citra. That's brilliant. Spaceman is is an intense, writ large, accessible, enjoyable, and democratic. Democratic. I don't know why it's democratic, but it is enjoyable. It says the brewer concedes that it's really American craft beer brewed in Italy. Well, it is, and it's lovely. Um, you know, 
they're they're still brewing it there, even if it's a you know a riff on a style. That's lovely. So smooth. Um, I am tasting a bit of strength now, but I'm a big fan of Citra as a hop. So I'm I'm gonna say thumbs up to this. Well done, Brewfist. Um, I mean, the logo is actually a fist as well, which is brilliant. So well done, Spaceman West Coast IPA from Brewfist in Italy. Uh, thumbs up from me, or a fist from me, I think. Um, well, I think I'll go leave it there. I'm going to want to go drink the rest of it. So nice and slow. I don't want to rush it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another bit of review soon.